Hey guys, uh, as most of you know, who watch my channel, that we're having problems with our fish because of the thiaminase and the B1, the resulting B1 deficiency. And the latest victim is this uh, Wallagonia lyrii, or helicopter catfish, that has lost ability to keep its balance. I want to say two days ago entirely. Before that, it was kind of wobbly, but I knew it was going to happen. So today we're gonna give it a B1 injection just like we did with other catfish and see if it helps it uh, like it did the others again. Uh, today I have a lovely family of helpers. You wanna be in it? Yeah, sure. Visiting from the New York City that will be helping me along filming and, and holding the fish. There you go, man. We're gonna try and net them. Just like we did with the other catfish. Once I net them, I'm gonna have it off. Mm -hmm. This is one of those situations where netting is not a problem. No, he's pretty strong still. Very strong fish. Like that. Mm -hmm. oh, I got my seven milliliters of B1. I'm gonna come over closer. So the shot should go behind the dorsal. In the muscle mass. I have to let him. I have to flip it out. I have to let him struggle so that he gets tired and stops struggling. He found a hole. Over this way a little bit. Put it towards me so you get so he's not blocking. Okay, so he got his shot. He was laying on the back, so that's why the wounds on this side, lay, laying on this side mostly. It's got very formidable teeth. Each tooth is is a sharp hook that's uh, curved inside. All right, so we'll let him out and uh, we'll report the progress or regress, whatever happens. Thank you. Usually if it is B1, within a day or two he should start being able to control the body position and the buoyancy and stop spinning or laying upside down. Thank you for watching as always.